of local women are trapped tonight. They are pawns in the human trafficking business. Some local leaders are trying to do something about it. And tonight, one local woman is sharing her story about the courage it takes to get out of it. Here's Local 12 Sydney Benter. Rebecca McGovern is working toward a college degree and looking forward to her future with a new baby on the way. She finally has some hope after years of drug addiction and prostitution at the hands of an ex. Using that as a way to kind of cope with it because I felt like I needed a guy to kind of lift me out of that situation and kind of pull me out when really I didn't. Rebecca says she spent her childhood in foster care and made a home for herself with other girls on the street. She's turned things around now. Was there ever any fear involved in leaving that lifestyle? I mean, yeah, there's always the fear because, you I mean, like, especially now, it's like you kind of don't really want to end up shot. Shot like her best friend Jessica Reveille was last year. She was a prostitute and addicted to heroin, like Rebecca. After a stumble, Rebecca says she's been clean for almost six months. She attended a town hall meeting on human trafficking tonight in Price Hill. Not her old stomping grounds along McMicken Avenue, but the west side has a similar set of problems. Denise Driehaus used to represent Price Hill in the State House. She's hosting these discussions because she's witnessed it herself. I saw a woman, uh, I'm, I'm sure she was being trafficked, and I didn't realize it when I saw it. And, and after a friend of mine was with me, and after it happened, she and I were like, what was that? It's because of many of the people in this room that Rebecca was able to break free, and she hopes to inspire others to do the same. I really just want girls to know, like, there is hope. Uh, there is hope somewhere. Um, and there's help out here, so don't feel like you have to sit there and do it alone and know there's people that's been where you've been. In Price Hill, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. And City Councilwoman Yvette Simpson says that the city saw success with its efforts to curb trafficking along McMicken with road barriers. She says the city intends to roll out similar efforts in six other neighborhoods, but barriers likely will not be needed.